What's up, guys? It's Seth bringing you another PC build. This one is going to be for under, uh, I almost said 1000 Nope, that's not right. Under $2,000. And let's get right into it. Nothing really to talk about other than the build. So, for the CPU, going to go with one of the best gaming CPUs you can get, which is the Intel 3770K. Sorry, almost a little messed up right there. Other than the 3930K, it's literally one of the best um, CPUs you can get. It is truly one of the best. Uh, when it comes to gaming, I understand that other CPUs might be better for like, the Extreme Series. Uh, might be better for you know, more professional uses. But if it comes to gaming, just go with the 3770K or the 3930. It's a little bit more expensive, like $200 difference uh, for the 3930. But... 3770 is going to pretty much play any CPU intensive game out there right now. So that's always good. The Sabertooth is what we're going to go with for uh, our motherboard. I used this on the $2,000 build for July as well. It's a great board in general. My internet's a little slow right now. I have no clue why. And just show you some of the features real quick because it does look a lot different than a normal motherboard and so the main things that you're gonna see different is that the entire thing is covered by this this black stuff that you see it's um thermal armor meaning that's gonna protect your motherboard from both heat as well as dust and grime and dirt and all that stuff uh, well I hope you don't have dirt in your case but um, mainly dust that's a big thing that's gonna protect from and what it does it just covers everything and then there are two fan sockets that um, the little fans come with it uh, one fan will plug into here and go down here to cool your IO ports as well as move air underneath the uh, the thermal armor and then there's another fan header right here that will plug in to another small little fan that will move um, the heat around and then out of your motherboard because if you did not have those fans plugged in, which you necessarily don't have to, but heat will eventually start to build up under this thermal armor because it kind of acts as both uh, both a, well, it kind of acts like a um, insulation in a way. So if you have fans going underneath it to push the air out, that's great and it'll work really good. But if you don't, then heat will eventually build up. But those fans do come with it. They're like extremely, extremely small fans, but they work pretty good because it's a small area that they're covering. Um, but just to let you guys know, that is how the, the fans and the motherboard works. Gonna go with, for the video card, the 7970. The Sapphire one here. The $460 one, not like the 440 or 450, whatever that was. Um, because it does have two fans, which you want. It's a more custom Sapphire card instead of the, um, whatever they're called. Um... The more general basic that design that was put out originally this does have two fans much better cooling for such a high power graphics card to give a equivalent for those of you that use nvidia cards it's equivalent to the 680 just in uh, in terms of performance and it really that's about the only difference i think it has well it has three gigs of um vram instead of two gigs which i think is on the the 680 but I'm not completely sure about that but still really great it'll run basically any uh, video game right now at 60 FPS no problem there might be a couple exceptions to those really really intensive games um, that rely both heavily on CPU and video card but for the most part any game that you're gonna be playing like Battlefield or um, Call of Duty or any of those graphics intensive games it's gonna run really well so don't don't worry about that I actually had to redo this video because the next component I left out and it ended up being when I put it in way over two thousand um, dollars but I did fix it and I'm re-recording the video so 16 gigs of RAM I forgot that I don't know how of course you need 16 gigs of RAM uh, well not necessarily 16 but of course you need RAM and somehow I forgot to put that in this is gonna be um, color you know it, it doesn't go as well with actually now yeah it's not gonna go as well with the color of the motherboard or anything though it will go well with the sapphire video card it's gonna be blue 
Corsair Vengeance 16 gig, which is, you know, fine. Color isn't a big deal. I'm not a crazy uh, color coded or uh, matching freak type of thing. That's not my biggest concern. I more I care more about performance and price than than that. For our storage drive, this will not be a boot drive. Gonna go with the Samsung Spin Point. One terabyte. Only 90 bucks, pretty good price. For our boot drive, this is what I really like is the Intel 520 series uh, 240 gig, which is basically means that you are going to get extremely fast boot times. It's going to last forever, not forever, but for a very long time. And with 240 gigs of space, you can put basically all of your games, all of your main programs, and your OS and still have room to go. So everything is going to go really, really fast and smooth on your system. And hey, it comes from Intel, meaning that you get really good performance as well. As far as the power supply goes, I went a little bit lower than some people might, but it's going to work fine. You can go higher if you want to, say do a 900 watt or a 1000 watt, but we're going with a, what is this, Cooler Master, sorry, spelled that wrong, 800 watt, I cannot type, wow, and yep, that's the one, so it, the nice thing about it is that it's both modular, uh, crossfire ready, which you know, uh, most of them are, but it's good that, you know, that is active and stuff. It will be good for our video card for the most part. And other than modular, what's really nice, that's 80 plus gold, which, so it's not just the regular 80 plus. Um, it's actually 80 plus gold, which is a great certification to find on these power supply units. So, last two things, case and our optical drive. So, for the case... This is where I messed up on the previous one as well, but it's okay. We're actually going to go... Excuse my typing, it's really bad right now. Cooler Master HAFX, great airflow, that's really what HAF stands for. And great reviews, I mean, can't go wrong with it. It will fit our H100 without any issue at all. For the Blu-ray drive, I understand, yeah, I normally don't do Blu-ray, but we are going to indeed do some... Blu-ray. Yeah, make sure. You know, I actually forgot to do the H100. Just worried about that. Throw it in as well for the CPU cooler. In case you wanted to know what that was. Light on Blu-ray. It's only like 50 bucks, but it's pretty good. And there you go. Comes out to 2025, and you get $30 in mail-in rebates, meaning that it comes just about to two thousand dollars after shipping it's uh it comes out to below two thousand before shipping but unfortunately there is around twenty two dollars um shipping to you but hey not too bad good price amazing performance between that um really the three main components of the video card the cpu and the motherboard amazing and that cpu can overclock that thing as much as you want to the high fours um if you choose to do so you might not but the H100 will be able to handle the heat that comes off of it without any issue at all. It's a um, a closed liquid cooler, meaning that you never have to actually deal with it or do anything to it. So it's always good as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this build. Another one coming up pretty soon in the next couple of days or so. And if you did enjoy it, please like and then subscribe and comment with suggestions, whatever you want to do. Link to all these products will be in the description. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.